Now, it's so sad that those two lovers you're seeing right there have reportedly died. According to social media reports, it said that the guy stabbed his girlfriend after finding out that their baby was for another man. But also, other reports indicate that the lady spent a night outside their home in an unknown place without the knowledge of the husband. The guy then later committed suicide by taking poison and uh, we are yet to confirm if it's true he has also died. This actually happened in Gulu city, that is northern Uganda. You know, sadly, they were both fresh graduates. Very unfortunate news coming in from that side. Well, another breaking sad news is the death of this young beautiful lady, Susan Chatuhire from Chambogo University at Bushenyi Learning Center. Susan was a third year student and uh, she was raped and killed by a gang as she returned home at around 11 p.m. in the night from her 24th birthday celebrations with friends. Now, police in Western Uganda has confirmed this unfortunate incident and investigations into this matter have already started. But, by the way, I really wonder how some people find peace in killing their fellow human beings. Like how? How do you feel at peace when you have killed someone? Oh my goodness. Man, I'm telling you, this year we have lost many students. I mean, I just reported about the death of Prosper Muhanji from Uganda Matters University. And here we are again. It's so sad. May their souls rest in peace. <laughs> Now, away from the sad news, now, some people on the opposition side right here in Uganda have said that most of the time, President Museveni's son, Jeno Mohozi Kainerugaba, tweets under the influence of alcohol. Now, the Deputy Kampala Lord Mayor, that is Doreen Nyanjura, has said that the public should stop blaming alcohol for the reckless tweets made by President Museveni's son, Jeno Mohozi Kainerugaba. Now, Nyanjura says she has very many friends who drink and yet they are so brilliant. So, I think Nyanjura is trying to mean that Jeno Mohozi is not brilliant. Hmm, okay. <laughs> now, at the beginning of this week, uh, UPDF soldiers raided retired Major Kakosa Mutale's farm in Luero district. Major Kakosa is accused of training over 100 young people so that they can overthrow President Museveni's government. However, Kakosa said that the raid on his farm was uncalled for, explaining that the young people on his farm are only being trained in modern agriculture and uh, he has even invited the Omukama of Bunyoro, Solomon Gafabusa Iguru, to pass them out. So there's nothing like training people on his farm to overthrow President Museveni's government. He says, please take a chill pill. Well, there you go. Uh, that is the latest update I have for you on The Buzz this morning. And uh, don't forget to subscribe in case you haven't. And also tap on the bell for all the notifications. My name is Melads Milo, a.k.a. Fuller. It's a bye for now. Thank you. Audio jump.